Welcome to RCTV, folks. On this week's episode of RCTV, we have some winter rock crawling, which is really cool. cool. And I'll be racing around with the Losi rock crawler. And Losi, yeah. one of my favorites. Also, we're going to be heading out to Chatham for one of Canada's premier scale shows to see some big planes, small planes, World War II, World War I planes. But first, indoor drifting. Drifting. Eliminator RC presents RCTV, your radio controlled authority. Brought to you in part by RC Pit Stop, bringing the best of RC to BC since 1989. And John's Hobbies, Toronto's local hobby store. With your host, Nick Rack. I'm Ryan from One ERC. Today we're at ERC Drift Night. We've got our usual group of guys here to enjoy some good quality drifting. Now let's take a look at some cool scale looking cars and some unique ways to drift. at home wondering what a basic drift car looks like, we're going to give you an inside peek here. Here we have a TCFD with a basic setup. I've got a light kit in it, a front one-way diff, and a rear lock diff. The one-way diff helps so when you click the brakes, the front wheels spin and it's like having an e-brake. I have a one-way front differential in it so when you put the brakes on, the front wheels freewheel and the back end of the car will slide around so you can maneuver it in the position you'd like. I've also got a locked rear end just to help keep the back end stable when you're on the throttle. Drifting can be taken to any level you'd like. Whether it's messing around with your friends just to have a few giggles, or if it's getting down to scale, building buildings, and detailing your car so it looks like the real thing. It's up to you to decide which way you want to go. Now we have Nick here with us. Nick, explain your car to us a little bit. Uh, it's your basic Tamiya TT01. Uh, it's the Type E with the BMW drift style body. It's got just your basic rubber drift tires. It's added a couple extra LEDs to the light system. Upgraded a couple parts in the back to the CVT axles, the rear knuckles. Probably going to be upgrading the motor system eventually. Get some more speed for some more drifting? Always need more speed. So why don't we test our skills? Yeah, let's do some tandem drifting. Now we're sitting here with Barrett just to take an inside look at his car he's using for drifting. Barrett, what's unique about your car? It's actually a rally car, not meant for drifting. What's your secret to keeping it in a controlled drift? Just uh, keep it nice and smooth, try not to hit the sides, and uh, try not to oversteer. As you can see with the body off, the car's even still got the rally tires on it from rally racing. This car literally has no special setup for drifting. It just goes to show that you don't need any special equipment to enjoy some RC drifting. All you need is a creative mind and a great throttle trigger. So well, tell us about this car you're running and tell us why it has such a unique body. Well, it's an HPI Cup racer. Uh, it's got a Novak 13 and a half in it, two cell lipo, and the Datsun 510 body on it. Um, that body's been through, you know, to hell and back. I've had it for about three years now. Last time we had a hole in the roof by a dog, so I figured, what the heck, let's just make it a convertible and uh, use it as my beater body. I was the, uh, the first guy around here to pick one up in the 510 body, and then 
after one drift night, next thing I know there's about five of them. So had to change it up a little bit, keep it unique. Still the only pink 510 though. Definitely looks good and it definitely suits the style of drifting. So Al, tell us about your other car you use for drifting. Uh, this is my Hot Buddies TCFD, um, carbon fiber chassis. I'm running a Novak 13 and a half sensor motor in the speed control, two cell lipo, running a front one way in it, which gives you almost an e-brake effect, helps you get a little bit more angle when you're cornering. And the rear is a locked solid axle, so she handles and slides around pretty good. Nice, well let's see you drift it around a bit. coming out to check out one of our ERC drift nights. You guys stay where you are and stay tuned for more RC TV.